Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Femi Bajagbamila, the top the list to, to become a Tinubu's um, chief of staff. Uh -huh. You know that place where we say this man did before now? When he called die die here, Abba Kiari, that that position so now, Femi Bajagbamila. You know, say, not be today, that is time with Tinubu. Oh dear. Bugao. If you go outside, say, you forget that time. We produce you that video now. Go go campaign for Tinubu and what have you. The guy won't be go for governor of Lagos State because okay, may leave that one for San Wolu, Tinubu's son. Uh, I mean, political son. I mean, when I say son, not a uh, uh, political son. Where? Uh, but remember, I don't top the list, he don't prepare himself, say where, say. Uh, all, all go now go now go it is so he's been a senator for a uh, house of uh, house of rep speaker and now he's moving on to become chief of staff now wow nigeria now so we go the day anyway my lovely people please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details but Bamila, top list of contenders for tinubu's chief chief of staff Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajbamila, is a leading candidate for the post of Chief of Staff to President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the next administration. Bajbamila was conspicuously missing at the International Conference Center ICC Abuja on Wednesday when the Independent National Electoral Commission presented certificate of return to the elected members of the 10th House of Representatives. Bajamemela was re-elected to represent Surulere 1 Federal Constituency Lagos for the sixth consecutive tenor. And you know how long a tenor is. Yes? For the sixth consecutive tenor, he has been he's been there. During the February 25th presidential election, a national assembly election, he pulled 19,717 votes to defeat his closest contender, Boson JJ of the People's Democratic Party, with 5,121. 5, yes. Leadership Nigeria on Friday, however, gathered that the speaker may eventually not represent his constituency in the 10th assembly as is likely to, con to be considered for the post of chief of staff to the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. But many Nigerians are saying to him, wait, we are waiting for you. Tinubu has not been inaugurated yet. And even with that, there are cases in court and we have to sort it out. This is your becoming chief of staff dream. If you are not going to work for Nigeria, we'll be tarnished. We promise you. Some obedience have sent him a serious message. A source familiar with Bajabamila confirmed that the speaker, being one of Tinubu's core loyalists and having worked with politicians for every federal constituency in Nigeria in the last 20 years, is more likely to be considered for the plum job. When asked if Bajabamila will abandon his fresh mandate to pursue the chief of staff job to Tinubu's government, the source said, this is what we are hearing. If you notice, he didn't come to for his certificate of return on Wednesday. The truth, he doesn't need that certificate. He has everything to function optimally as chief of staff to the president in the new government he has worked for and he has been going around to ensure that Tinobu wins. This is what is being prepared and planned. Bajagwemila, however, has not gotten, you know, um, has not gotten the enough support that you would think he will get because um, Obidia don't promise and say, well, say, we they come for you. We get, see, eh, we they, see, we they come for you. You go see yourself. Okay? We go see yourself. Every time they do so, you go see yourself. Now, so the matter they be, oh, hmm. No be smarty they happen. No doctor I say we say you go see yourself. We go wait to see patiently how things go be because as we they talk so so many issues they on ground. So many issues they on ground. Nigerians expected a lot. Nigeria expected more. But guess what? These things are, it does not look very much like you know it's what Nigerians as every sage that he has seen. And uh, but Gwemila has positioned himself. Remember now we does that bugadas now. Remember now he's been going out for 
a lot of campaign and what have you, and has really campaigned for Tinubu. You know, he's one of uh, Tinubu's right hand man and is being considered seriously for the job. Anyway, Nigerians, he has been uh, a House of Rep member. He was re elected again, like we saw, uh, but he did not collect his certificate because he feels very strongly that there is a greater job awaiting him. Uh, Nigerians, may we open our eye, may we see the same person go day one position for such a long time. How you expect change? If we, can, if, we, if we cannot have fresh ideas, fresh eyes, I don't understand how that constitution works. That a senator, for instance, the Senate president has been there since <clears throat> the Senate president has been there since 1999. The Senate president, so he saw, uh, he the Senate president saw our brother uh, uh, Obasanjo, he saw Maru Musa Eradua, he saw Jonathan. He has seen, uh, he saw Jonathan, he saw Buhari, he is going, to, do you understand? And he took the mandate from somebody else now and does not even care. So these are some of the sincere truth of what is happening. And every single person, we just have to align with the position of truth. We need to be honest with ourselves. Let's stop the crap of lies. The assumption we've been giving to ourselves, we need to stop it. We need to rise up. We need to be able to ass assure ourselves of what is needed to move us forward. We can't continue like this. No, we can't. We can't continue like this. There are so many things, so many issues that are going on, and we all must ensure, okay, that we do what is right, what is needed to move us into the desired position so at the end of the day, Nigeria can be that country that we all can truly say, you know what, I am glad I'm part of this country. You know, that's what we that's what we want. And that's why Nigerians went seriously to the polls. But it did not feel like some to some people, they didn't feel like what they planned for was what they got. You know, so why politicians, some are building their their dynasty, they are, you know, <clears throat> building themselves and getting whatever some other persons, you know, just want good governance. They don't want anything more. They are not saying do A or do B, turn the sky to purple. That's not what they are asking. That's not what they are asking. They are just saying we want good governance. We want this country to be a better place, not just for one, but for all. Can we move forward as a nation? Can we do something new? Can we change the course of what is going on? What can we do differently? You know, these are some, some, of, these are some of the sincere heart cry of some other people. Why some people are building their political dynasty in result of what the people feel or what happens to Nigeria. They can't be bothered. So it is a matter of urgent attention. Every single person must ensure that we do what is needed and right to move us forward. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.